output page. Introduction to power electronics. It is power electronics associated with three terms. One is power. Second one is electronics. And third one is control. So coming to power. The power is associated with the four. One is generation and transmission. So whatever the power generated must be transmitted. Transmission because the loads are uh, far away from the generating points. So it has to be transmitted to uh, reach the load, load centers and uh, after reaching that it has to be distributed means distribution of the power afterwards utilization the final stage of power is utilization whatever the power is generated in generating stations must be transmitted because the utilization points means loads are far away from the generating point, thereby we need one transmission system. After transmitting the power, need to be distributed based on the voltage levels like that. So when we transmit the power in 440, uh, 480 level, so that has to be distributed in different voltage levels like 220 kV. 132 kV, 66 kV, like 33 kV, 11 kV. So finally, this 11 kV is stepped down into 440 volt or 440 volt in case 220 volt. Single phase. Like this, different voltage levels are available in the power system. So, based on the application, suppose the application requires 220 volt uh, single phase supply, in the utilization, we are going to get the 220 volt single phase supply by connecting a single phase on the motor. So, suppose three phase supply is available, suppose you want to run a motor. Three phase motor you need to go for four point two. Some industrial applications are connected to the level chain system like that. So what are the power transmitted in terms of four hundred kV must be stepped down to different values based on the different values the applications are going to be run. And what we call that utilization. Then coming to electronics, here we are going to discuss solid state. Devices and some electronic circuitry which is uh, required to transmit the power. Electronic circuits, electronic circuitry, then some signal flow, signal process also we have to. And when we come into control, here we are going to discuss the steady state characteristics. Steady state characteristics. And dynamic characteristics. Very simple. See, we have power electronic associated with the three terms power, electronic, control. Basically, the power electronics is handling electric power. So, electric power is must generated first. So, whatever the power generated must be uh, utilized by the different loads through transmission and distribution. So, while doing this process, 
So let us say, suppose 100 kilowatt power is generated in the generating stations. When it reaches to load center load, just we are having 60 percent of the power means around 84 percent of the power is going to be lost in the system itself. So thereby huge economic problem will be occurring. For that, what we have to do is very simple when you we use power electronic devices in the system, in the entire power system, where that power electronic devices are required, it can at least it can improve the one percentage of say one percentage of say means let us say 100 kilowatt is a uh, small value when we compare to the generating stations. Generally, uh, India like countries are, are handling gigawatt -age power. Gigawatt -age power means if we increase the one percentage means that, that will be very useful when compared with the gigawatt -age. That's why power plant plays vital role in power generating points to the load side. And here for conversion process, for conversion and controlling process, we are going to use the electronic devices such as diode. Generally we call that a diode. Diode in terms of power plants will become Power diode. General diode will become power diode in case of power electronics and power SCR. Power VJT. Power MOSFET. And power IDT, etc. Some other devices are also there. LSAR, GTU, Gate, and other instruments. You are know there, which we are using in uh, power dynamic uh, system. And we are going to discuss about the uh, devices, how we are going to be controlling, what are the steady state characteristics. Uh, dynamic characteristics. Okay. Generally, when we define the power electronic, it's a power electronic modular. It is a power electronic modular. Let us call this a power modular. So, power modular is nothing but the the power electronic configurator circuit and we are giving input to this one is power and this side is load means what power electronic circuit is going to be helping the power to send to the load means the power monitor can be two purpose. One is process, other one is control. Process and control. Then we can define power electronics like this. Power electronics is a circuit which is going to be process and control the electrical power. So with that what happened? The controlled electric power is going to be pumping to the loads. Suppose, let us take one example. This is a mobile charger. Mobile charger. Okay. So, that mobile charger will need 5 volt of DC. It will need 5 volt DC power supply. Then generally we have 
two types of electrical powers are available in the nature. One is AC power, other one is DC power. Okay. So when you come into AC power again, uh, there are three phase and single phase. Based on the requirement, we are using three phase or single phase. And DC power is alone. And the ratings are different. Means, suppose if it is three phase, it must be having 1.2 volt. When it is coming through single phase, it is 2.2 volt. Both are in alternating voltage. But when, we, when it is, this is uh, almost we are having uh, generally 2.2 volt DC available uh, at the rectifier outputs. When you go to the different uh, battery pack, uh, generally 9 volt battery is there, 12 volt, 20 volt battery, DC values. These are different uh, kinds of uh, power supply. Suppose uh, this level, suppose 9 volt battery that we use to supply the power or uh, to charge the mobile battery, 5 volt DC power, then what happened? Needs 5 volt only, but we are having input 9 volt. With this 9 volt, we are going to charge the 5 volt battery. Okay. Then here what happened is this is DC, this is DC. Thereby there is a DC DC conversion takes place. DC DC conversion takes place. Inductive we can call it as step down DC value step down DC value how it is very easy to understand that this 9 volt DC value is going to be step put down to 5 volt DC value using step down we can call it as a chopper circuit chopper ok using chopper circuit we are going to step down the 9 volt of DC to the 5 volt of DC, which is for mobile charger to charge the battery which is there in the mobile. So, then when we have we do not when we not having any DC power, we have only AC power. There also there must be two conversions takes place. Thereby we are going to use the for a ton of configurations, uh, two, two different configurations we are going to use to, uh, to charge the mobile battery. Okay.